finna rose. If this rose could talk, this rose has been in my personal life for over 12 years. And it was with Snoop Dogg for over uh, 15 years before it even got to me. And this was a gift from him to me. Basically, just when I was young, I would always walk past his house. In his house, he had it set up in the living room. Just to walk into the door, you see all these beads, platinum records, over 50 million records, platinum plaques, and this rose sitting there. And I always wondered, what was the rose? And he said this rose was given to him um, by one of the keyboard players that was actually, uh, he played on uh, uh, all the Death Row records, you know. And because of that, he gave it to Snoop. And this rose has been playing on all the Snoop records from, um, uh, from doggy style on, I really, I think really from my from the last meal, for far as Snoop records, but a lot of ton of other records. But um, and then it, it moved to my house, like my first time ever seeing any type of real money off this music industry. Um, I got a check, a publishing check, and I moved, uh, move over to Woodland Hills and built a studio. I didn't have, I didn't have no bed, no couch, nothing. All I had was a big ass house and a Fender Rhodes. You know, and this was my furniture, you know. So I used to eat on top of this, practice on this, write charts on this. This is all I had in my house was a Fender Rose, you know. So, you know, this 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 particular one is very personal, but just the rose in general has always been such a huge thing in music, but I think we all know that. I think for me personally, it's been such a huge thing because, you know, we've always had one. I, I grew up with a Fender Rose in my house since two years old. So instead of a grand piano or anything, we had a Fender Rose in the house. I wrote a song on the, uh, I wrote a few songs, but one of the ones I like the most is on the, the Kendrick Lamar last record. Um, I produced a, one of the songs I did is called Real, and I used a real Fender Rose with a Mutron Bi phase. I used this one, and it was a. Uh, Oh, no way. A lot of other songs on that album, but that record sticks out to me a lot. I love Cute Jared, but I hate looking at Cute. You know, Herbie was. He was just, you know what I'm saying? Cute Jared was. I was like, I don't want to play that shit. If that's gonna make me have back spasms and shit, what the fuck I'm like? That shit's not cool. Chick, Chick is a nerd, but Chick look cool playing that shit. He just. You just want to play that shit, like whatever you. But Herbie came with that. Herbie was just that, whatever chord is just. It was just so funky. <laughs> <laughs> 